Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you guys along in my kitchen. You're gonna get to see what's in my cabinets, what's in my drawers, and I think it could be a little unique because we have a, adopted a more minimalistic way of living um, in, our, in our household, but specifically in our kitchen. So the kitchen is the room that we probably spend the most time in and it gets dirty and cluttered and I don't like that. So how do I keep it clean on a more, you know, on a set basis? And it's keeping things clutter free and not keeping around things just to keep things around. So you'll see when I open up my drawers and my cabinets, there's not much in there. Um, this is also what works well for our family. We don't feel the need to have all this extra stuff and we don't feel like we're depriving our family of anything. There's never a time where we're cooking and we feel like we don't have something. So I know we've made the right choice, but you'll see that we, we keep things pretty bare. It makes it much easier just to wipe things down and clean. And I really think that keeping everything clear and clean within the cabinets and out on the counters, it's the main reason why we can keep our kitchen clean almost on a daily basis. And that is the secret I really believe is keeping it bare. I love walking into the kitchen and just seeing it completely bare and clean. It just makes me feel better. I'm more calm. And uh, so I think a decluttered space makes for a more or less decluttered space in our heads as well. So I'm gonna bring you guys along and you'll see kind of what we keep around and what works for our family. And this is really what works for us. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this minimal, minimalist kitchen tour. So you can see over here in the kitchen, I just keep this very basic. Um, we use that to for bills and little things to remember. And then over here, I just have the appliances we use the most often. Of course, coffee, um, use that all the time. And then our toaster oven, which we end up probably using once a day due to my daughter Avery. And then other than that, we keep it pretty pretty simple. That's all we have out on the countertops. I will start over here. These are the cabinets that we don't really put much in. They're kind of like extra cabinets. Um, so no real food, but it's more appliances. Um, so as you can see, like slow cookers, a serving dish, some drink pitchers, travel lunch bags, and some candles. And that's it. This cabinet is where we keep Avery's games and Play-Doh that she loves to play with because we're you know, usually doing that here in the kitchen. So um, we have, yeah, her Play-Doh, extra Play-Doh, bubbles and chalk because we go out on the back patio and use that a lot. The games we play with her. And then up here, it's extra plates. Um, like party supplies, silverware, all of that. And at the very top, we keep our outdoor patio ca mosquito candles, you know, to repel mosquitoes and um, those outdoor type stuff. Moving down right here, we just have more of Avery's crafts that she does here right next to the kitchen table. So it's nice to be able to grab all of this. This is a drawer that does, I, I do find hard to kind of keep organized, but um, looks pretty organized right now. This is kind of a miscellaneous drawer that we keep because I have candles here in the kitchen, you know, um, lighters, stuff that you're using, our Bluetooth speaker, our iPad, charging cords, some birthday cards that I'm gonna be using here in the next couple weeks. I just kind of put them there, but a miscellaneous drawer that um, I try to keep control of what I put in here so it doesn't become a mess. And then moving here, this is like serving platters and like party type for different dips and chips and like serving platters. So we use this mainly for the holidays and like birthday parties. Uh, any party that we host here, we keep all of this stuff here. And then coming over to here, this is just mixing bowls. Um, that type of thing, and then like Pyrex dishes, casserole dishes when we bake, and then we do have um, the griddle that we make pancakes on when we are gonna be making a large batch, but 
Then moving over to here, because we have our coffee maker here, Keurig, I keep coffee cups here. And as you can see, <laughs> try to keep control of, I th coffee cups are something that I just feel like I tend to collect for some reason, like people just buy me us coffee cups when they go on trips and stuff so I think that's one thing that tends to get a little out of hand so I try to keep control of the amount of coffee cups that we have and then water bottles travel coffee mugs and then up there it's kind of water a bigger couple bigger water jugs for like when my husband plays softball in the summer and then bigger water bottles that type of thing when we need more than your smaller sizes. Moving here, this is a junk drawer that I won't open. We have some bills in there and stuff. Then down here, because I keep my coffee maker here, I used to have something that held all of the K-cups up here and I just didn't like it being on the counter. So I got this basket and I just keep my K-cups in here. I can pull it out, grab one, that's that. And this is kind of where we keep our bar type drinks and that type of stuff. Up here, we don't use this cupboard very often. We just have some cookbooks that, let's be honest, most of the recipes that we pull from are online, but those are some that we have and some recipe books that I put together and just a serving dish from a aunt, very special aunt, that gave that to us on our wedding. And we don't keep anything in our oven. And then down here we just have a few pans. Up here is Avery's cabinet with her Avery's plates and little bowls and sippy cups and things like that, snack cups. And then I have up here some more baby type sippy cups and baby plates and bowls and things like that that we are just storing away for the next baby. Over here we have spices. So I have this little Lazy Susan which I like so I can put all of our spices on and turn it around. So this is just spices on that one. That's salt and pepper over there because they're really big so I had to lay them down. Measuring cups and then up there we have knives. So nothing special but we used to have our knives on a knife block and I just didn't like them being out on the counter because I like it to look bare and it just worked out. This cupboard up here just has like vitamins and stuff and I won't open that just because. Um, then we'll come down here and this is just like pans, thin pans which it's a perfect little cupboard for that. Then little cupboard with those pans and then here is where we keep our pots and pans um, and it works out. I try to keep, you know, we, we don't have a lot um, but we have enough for what we need um, and our bigger pots and pans and then moving over, oh say hi to Chase. Chase, can you say hi? <laughs> Always has to be next to me. Okay, so now we are looking at the sink. If we go under the sink, excuse me, bud. I just have cleaning supplies, and I will admit that this tends to be, I feel like it's the messiest um, area in the kitchen. Um, but this is really the only place that we have, I can put cleaning supplies down here. The rest of our cleaning supplies are upstairs on the back of the laundry room door. But of course I need cleaning supplies down here as well. So, you know, I have just my day to day like mop cleaners and window cleaners and stainless steel appliance, stuff that I use almost on a daily basis here. Dishwashing pods 
And then here, this is just, you know, carpet cleaner and Febreze and dust and baking soda, things we don't usually use on a necessary basis. And then actually under, the, other than that, we don't have anything. That's just extra Dawn dish soap because I tend to buy that in bulk, but that's it. <clears throat> And then I'll just move right over here. This is where we keep our silverware. And so I have, you know, like measuring cups, Avery's silverware there, our silverware. And usually in there I have a pizza cutter, which is in the dishwasher currently. And then just can openers and, you know, kitchen stuff. But things that we definitely use. And then down here, not much, but we have, those are accessories for this blender, the Ninja Blender. Um, so I just put them back there. So our, my Ninja Blender, which I love using. And then mixer, and I would say that these two things back here would not be minimalist necessarily because you can definitely, like the one is a pizzazz, it's a pizza maker. And obviously make a pizza in other places, so it's kind of an appliance we don't necessarily need, but we do make pizza a lot, so um, we decided we wanted to keep it. And then that is a hot chocolate maker that my husband loves, and he did not want to give up, so we kept it. <laughs> and then we'll move up to here. This is where I keep our plates and bowls and stuff like that. So I know it looks like we have zero plate, no plates, um, but dishwasher, we, we really don't have a ton of plates. Um, bowls, smaller plates, and then this is our glass like food storage containers, I love these. Um, I'll link them in the description box below. I love them. Um, I kind of got rid of most of my plastic containers and went for all glass. So th these are the ones that we use for food storage on a more regular basis. I did save some plastic storage containers up there for like after family comes over, like Thanksgiving, if we're sending leftovers home, you know, just for those random times. And we had the room, so it's good to have those on hand for those unique times. We need to send food with somebody. And here we have our cups. Just um, basic cups, I guess. So, um, some wine glass, stemless wine glasses, plastic cups, and glass cups. Now, coming over to the island, not much in here. Oven mitts, <laughs> that's a jar gripper, and that's it. We used to have um, Avery's bibs when she was a baby in there, but don't need those anymore. And then here we have big spoons, spatulas, extra hand towels and cutting boards and just like miscellaneous things there. And then this drawer we have nothing. <laughs> And then coming over here, I keep like our, you know, wraps and foil and sandwich bags and stuff like that. And then here is just our trash, trash can. And a lot of our food we keep in our pantry, which I just put a, posted a video of the pantry, so you don't need to see that again. But a lot of our food is in there. So there you go, you saw my kitchen, and like I said, we try to adopt more of a minimalistic way of living in our kitchen, and it's just worked really well for us. It definitely helps us keep everything clean. I've never felt like I haven't had anything when I was cooking or doing things in the kitchen, so yeah but this definitely helps me keep everything clean. And what I would suggest if you guys wanna kinda 
emulate something like this just take your time go through one cupboard at a time i've done that before and we have moved multiple times as well and so every time we have moved you know it kind of gives me a reason to go through everything and get rid of things that we're not using on a yearly basis so i've been able to weed out a lot of good stuff in our kitchen which we have plenty of room to grow so with our next child or if we get new things we have room for it which i love and just being able able to open a drawer and see everything in there it just looks visually pleasing to me it keeps me calm and it just seems an easier way for living. So I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.